Hi everyone, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fée de la Mer. Welcome to my soap studio. Today I will be making a layered soap. It is called Fresh Garden Mint. This is a remake but with a twist because all of the ingredients in this soap are natural um, and it's scented with essential oils. I decided that the micas had to go. So the base layer will be colored with some beautiful French green clay by Culig Aromatic, one of my Canadian suppliers. And the top layer will be colored with some indigo from Voyager soap and candle. And then I will also include some Cambrian blue clay in that layer. Just a side note, uh, my base does contain palm oil by Palm and Right. And for those Canadian soap makers out there looking to source organic palm oil that is sustainable and ethically produced, Culig Aromatic also carries Palm and Right palm oil, which is amazing for soap making. So, if you would like to learn how to make layered soaps with me, I do teach this topic at industry events such as the HSCG conference that's coming up pretty, pretty soon. Um, and I'm also working on uploading a mini course on my Teachable, so stay tuned as I will add the link to that as soon as it is ready to watch. Fresh Garden Mint soap is perfect for people who love gardening, for mechanics, crafty people who always have something stuck to their hands, glue, you know, grime, blah, whatever. Uh, it has fine pumice stone in it, so it's a very scrubby soap. It's also great to exfoliate your body once in a while, so it's multi-use. It's also great in the kitchen after you've chopped onions or garlic uh, because the mint helps to clear away that oniony smell. So it's an amazing soap. It's my dad's favorite soap. <laughs> Let's make it. Have you seen my beautiful protection sleeves? These are by Farmer's Defense and I had seen other soap makers wearing them to protect themselves from soap making splashes, lye, fresh batter of soap, and they're just so beautiful and I really wanted some, so I got some for myself. I also got some for gifts for people I can't name because then I will spoil the surprise. Anyways, and now that I am all geared up for safety, I'm gonna portion out the oils for my first layer and we will make some soap. I'm gonna add all of my additives and then I will mix my lye water solution, which also contains the soft silk and I got mine from bscented.com. For this layer, I am using green clay, some of the pumice stone, some ground oatmeal, some local honey, as well as my blend of minty essential oils. The mold I am using today to pour my Fresh Garden Mint soap is called the Goliath. You've probably seen it on my channel before. It is made in the US by a small company called Custom Craft Tools and I am an affiliate. So I will leave the link and discount code in the description box if you would like to acquire any of their molds. Uh, this one can hold up to 31 pounds of soap, but my batch today is just a little over 10 kilos. So not quite full, but still, it can allow you to make many soaps. When this is cut, I will have 64 bars of fresh garden mint. Look at this beautiful color. I love clays to color soap naturally. They can even allow to make rainbow colored soap. Look at this one. It will be for a future video, uh, but this soap has been colored entirely with natural clays. How amazing is that?
and let's pour that first layer. It is time for the second layer. All of my additives are already in my oils, except my colorant, which I have added to my lye water solution because my titanium dioxide is water dispersible. So that's where it's getting blended. Time for the third layer. I am really excited to be using indigo in this soap. I've been testing with indigo uh, for the past few months and I've been getting incredible results. So what I did here is I combined my blue Cambrian clay with the indigo and I'm gonna add it straight to my oils and then we will add the lye water solution. All of my other additives were already in there except the clay indigo and the pumice stone powder. Time to unmold, but before I do so, I'm gonna steam the top of my slab of soap to give it a nice, smooth and shiny texture. Look at that beautiful slab of soap. The colors are great. I'm really happy about the change. Now I'm gonna put it on my Olympus um, Log Splitter by Custom Craft Tools and we're gonna slice it. I really like how the colors turned out. Um, when you look on the top, the blue from the Cambrian blue clay and indigo are kind of more like a jeans blue. But when you look at the inside, it, the soap went through gel phase um, and this is much more blue. So I'm really, really happy about the results. The green clay is also beautiful and you can see the speckles from the uh, ground mint leaves and the pumice stone gives like kind of this like cool texture mixed with the oatmeal. So 
I'm really, really happy about this baby. <laughs> it's like it got a, a makeover and I think it was a win. What do you guys think? I will space out the soap so that they can dry evenly in my soap drying trays by soapequipment.com. These will need to cure to lose some of that water content in there so that they can be nice and firm. I will let these cure for at least four weeks before we bring them back up to label and put them back on our shelves. I really hope you've enjoyed watching the process of making the garden mint soaps. If you would like to buy one, make sure to check back in a month and um, you can order online. We ship to Canada and the US. So thank you so much. And if you'd like to learn how to make these, make sure to check the links down in the description box.